tell you some real stories about how Taylor said to me. Met and fell in love. Never would I have imagined that almost eight years ago, on our first date, when he showed up at my front door, I would be meeting my best friend, the man of my dreams, and my future husband, who I would be spending the rest of my life with. Looking back, the best part of that night was that I had only seen you once from afar, and I wasn't sure which one you were when you showed up at my door with your friends. <laughs> <laughs> I remember this day clearly. For some reason, I chose to bring a friend with me to drive from Belmont to pick you up at your house in South City. Since my friend looked really similar to me, when you met me at your door, I'm pretty sure you had no idea which guy was in fact me. Sounds vaguely familiar. Apparently those odds were in my favor that day since it ended up being our first date and not your first date with Phil. I always remember the romance of our first date. From the bowling alley to playing paper football <laughs> with sugar packets at Heidi's Pies. Never being quite sure why we ended up there because neither of us actually wanted any pie. <laughs> Since we met in high school, we moved to Sonoma State together, built lasting relationships, graduated in four years, and got amazing jobs doing what we love. I was so blessed to be able to spend these years with you. I'm pretty sure that without you, I would have squandered four years playing video games rather than studying. I probably also wouldn't have gone out as much where I ended up meeting some of my best friends that are here today. So thank you. On our very first date, you made sure to open the car door for me, and to this day, you still do. With my rough math skills, opening at least one door a day, you have done this approximately 2,700 times. <laughs> Each time making me feel even more loved by you. Richie, we've been together a long time. I know you probably knew that already, but I just wanted to reiterate how long it's been. <laughs> Since we've been together, we have seen the release of the original iPhone, voted in two presidential elections, that's happened every four years, <laughs> watched four Olympic Games, been part of five graduation ceremonies, and went to at least two dozen formals and or proms together. You could say that after so long, I was getting a little antsy for this day. So after meeting in high school, going to college together, and then living together for a couple years, I started getting some not so subtle hints that you were waiting for me to ask a certain question. At the same time, I couldn't make it through another round of holidays with our families asking me what I was waiting for. <laughs> So almost exactly seven years after our first date, I finally summed up the courage to pop the question. If I thought I was lucky on our first date, I was wrong because the day you said yes was the luckiest day of my life. 
I want to take a moment to thank your dad, Keith, um, for shaping you into the loving and wonderful individual that I get to spend the rest of my life with. And I want to thank your mom as well, who I know would be so proud of you and happy for you. I know that she'll continue to watch over both of us as we start this new part of our lives.
Richie, you're quirky, smart, and a loving dude that I couldn't imagine my life without. I can't count the number of funny stories and nicknames we have for each other over the years, most of them not making any sense to anyone else, or really even to us. The most notable of these nicknames is my fawn. F-O-N started out as being short for how I felt about you, my freak of nature. <laughs> but it has transformed into a term of endearment that we have used ever since. Richie, you have been with me through some of the best times in my life and some of the hardest times, but I couldn't imagine going through any of these times without you. I believe in you, the person you're going, gonna grow up to be and the couple we will become together. With my entire being, I take you as my husband, acknowledging and accepting your faults and strengths as you do mine. I promise that I'll try my best to not dust before bedtime and only <laughs> steal the cover sometimes. <laughs> I promise to be faithful and supportive, loving you more and more every day. I will dream with you, celebrate with you, and walk beside you through whatever life may bring. Richie, you're my fawn, my best friend, and my soulmate, today and always. I promise that I will love you forever and always be your best friend. Part of that promise is because both of our dads said that if I ever screwed this up between you and me, I'd be in big trouble. <laughs> I'll make less of a big deal when you insist on vacuuming during a good show, incessantly clean our room right when I want to go to bed, or force me to watch Dancing with the Stars every Monday. Why can't you not just vacuum during that show? <laughs> You're the strongest, most inspiring, caring, loving, happy, and funniest freak of nature that I know. I love every day that I'm able to spend with you. And that's a lot of days so far. On our first date, about 2,800 days ago, I fell in love with you and I met my best friend. I consider myself the luckiest guy in the world because of this, and I can't wait to spend the rest of my life with you. I love you. Taylor and Richie's marriage and a memory of Debbie, they will be releasing butterflies as a reminder that her spirit is here with us today along with the love of all of her family and friends. Taylor and Richie, your new life together begins now. Your hearts and souls have been joined together to form something new, a couple united in love. Your old single lives are gone and a new and glorious life together has just begun. May the butterflies carry forth the good news of your marriage and the promise of your eternal love. <laughs>